So as you can see, there's the PVC valve and there's different ways to get to it. You can go ahead and uh, get to it from the underneath or you can go ahead like I did, remove the air intake, the throttle body and the intake itself and you can see the PVC valve clearly and we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the new one that I bought from my local Toyota dealer. I'm using a 22 millimeter and a half inch ratchet to open the PVC valve. This is the removed PVC valve. As you can see inside, it's uh, really dirty with oil, crud and grime. And I got a replacement part from my local Toyota dealer. And it's a fairly inexpensive part to go ahead and replace. Here's the new PVC valve that I bought from my local Toyota dealer. A comparison between the PVC valves. Here we're installing the new PVC valve replacement that we got from Toyota. You want to go ahead and just uh, hand tighten it first and then use a 22 millimeter socket with a half inch ratchet. So you just want to make sure the PVC valve is nice and snug. You don't want to go ahead and over tighten it. This is our intake and uh, I'm just going to make sure that the gasket is intact and is in place before I reinstall it again. I'm going ahead and putting our 12 millimeter bolts back in place. EGR pipe back and before I go ahead and do so guys we want to make sure this gasket is put back in place so these are 10 millimeter bolts that I'm putting back And you want to do the same thing for the other side as well. Throttle body and uh, we're going to go ahead and reinstall it. There are four bolts, 10 millimeter bolts and we have two antifreeze lines coming into our throttle body and uh, one plug. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Make sure it sits. So we got our four bolts in. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. It's nice and snug. Put our antifreeze line back into the throttle body like so and use a vice grip to bring this clip into the desired location. like so and do the same thing for the second antifreeze line 
want to pull up the clip just a little bit close and then just go ahead and drop it on top go ahead and put your throttle body plug back you should hear that clip the second plug be sure it's on and install this clamp which is going to secure our dipstick in place with a 12 millimeter bolt this clamp that I put back is attached to the manifold and this is going to go ahead and tighten in this 12 millimeter bolt now I got a 12 millimeter socket with a number 9 extension and a half inch ratchet and put back our intake air cleaner Just be very gentle in maneuvering the intake air cleaner back in position like so and then to get the bottom bolt in we're going to use a longer extension filter and just place back before we go ahead and install the head of our intake air cleaner which looks like this now guys before we go ahead and uh, install this I just want to make sure uh, that these are properly aligned with the throttle body down below So guys, what you see here is our air uh, intake cleaner is back in place where it belongs. And now we're gonna put the finishing touches. This plug right here goes to our sensor. You should hear it click like so. And then wanna put this pipe back in here and then just put this it's fairly easy you can just squeeze it with your fingers it goes nice and snug and it will hold this pipe in place for our intake cleaner